What's up? What's up? What's up? It's me, it's Brianka J, and you are back for Book Talk. Today, we are talking about the hero archetype. Yes, that is a literary archetype that we gotta know about because it happens so much that it's unignorable. So we're talking about Joseph Conrad today, but before we get started, if this is your first time with me, if it's your first time, go ahead and hit subscribe. We are a cool community of book lovers and right now, I think with COVID-19, we all will need a little bit more community, a little bit more support, a little bit more love and kindness. And that's what you'll get here in this beautiful place. So if you want to be here and you love how that sounds, go ahead, hit subscribe. Yeah, yeah, it's easy. I'm not different. The hero archetype. The hero with a thousand faces. The hero with a thousand faces. It's the idea that all individuals, yes, each one of us, share a collective consciousness. What? Yes, universally, each one of us may have different experiences, but we share a collective consciousness, okay? Supreme test, reward, and return. So I wanna talk about the hero's journey for a second. But um, to to talk about it, maybe you're gonna you're gonna you know it. It's a the hero's journey simply describes the things we see in King Arthur, um, the things we see Spider Man, Lion King, Hamlet. Um, yeah, it's just the way in which the story is organized. The way in which the story is organized can pretty much tell you if you're gonna be reading about the hero's journey. So, it's a couple things that have to happen. You have to have a call to action. You have to have a call to action, right? Uh, Lion King was called to be a king. Hamlet was called home before his father died. Um, king author, I think he was called to get the sword. Um, you have to be called, there's a call to action, right? So you need to cross the threshold. Accept the action, right? Uh, then you need to have a wise helper, Rafiki, right? Um, dark night of the soul moment, right? Maybe I'm gonna quit. Maybe this isn't for me. Maybe things got tricky, right? And then a magic realm. You must go into a magic realm. There must be a supreme test. Then finally, there's a reward. And then the last thing for the hero's journey is you get to go home. So those are the actions that are necessary to craft the hero's journey tale yourself or to pinpoint if you're reading a hero's journey. So if you're missing one of those elements, probably not that. Also, Star Wars is a great example of the hero's journey. So, let's keep going. Voila, voila. Okay, so, the hero's journey. <clears throat> so, when you do the call to action, that's the pulling of the sword from the stone. That is landing in odds, possibly. That is the death of a father, right? That is how you get your call to action. Something has happened, right? You have, it isn't, a, it isn't your own personal desire. The desires of the society around you have put you in this position, right? And then, you know, you might get you a wise helper. You might get you an Obi-Wan Kenobi guy. You might get you a Rafiki. You might get you a Gillenthorn and Rosencrantz type of situation. But you're finding some help, right? You're gonna, your, your dead father may come back and guide you as a ghost, who knows? Then you got this dark night of the soul moment. It's the part where you're captured in the prison. You're entering the haunted house and then the door closes. Um, you're falling and never being able to overcome, right? Just that feeling, that feeling. Then you go to the magic realm, right? The place where you're going to find success. The north, right? Home, the promised land, the magic realm where things are easier. Yeah, yeah. And then, I uh, think, what, where did, uh, where did fucking Simba go? Did he go into, what was that, a rainforest with Timon and Pumbaa? This, this place of just BSing, right? Okay, so after that, there's the supreme test. Cause you can't stay in the magic realm. It's fun, it's easy, it's nice. You can't stay there, you have to go, you have to go. So the supreme test, you see Dorothy faces the evil witch. You see the um, the student versus the, the master, right? Um, 
David beats Goliath. Do you see these type of things? Then you have the reward, the coming of age, the the recognition, the fame, the the fortune, whatever it is, whatever it is. And then you you return home, right? Odysseus finally has to get home, right? But that is the hero's journey. That is how it how it travels through and how it how things work out. So that's all I have about the hero journey. I hope that was interesting, impactful, and helpful. Hope that helped you with your homework. And I challenge you to go write me a story. Go write a story and where a hero takes a journey. You know, hey, why not? Or go read some stuff and, you know, indicate that, that, that archetype. Whatever. Whatever you want. Or just take this knowledge and have it in the back of your mind for a weird Tinder date. That's your prerogative, all right? Whatever it is, I want you to have a great day. I want you to enjoy yourself. I want you to find a little more love and kindness in your heart and getting passed it on to someone who absolutely needs it. Because, baby, the internet needs a little love and kindness. Okay?